The second law of thermodynamics says that the entropy of the universe always increases, but there are some changes in which the entropy seems to decrease. The freezing of water is an example. Solid water is more ordered, and therefore has a lower entropy, than the liquid water it came from. This is why you have to consider not just the chemical system, which is the H2O in this case, but the rest of the universe as well. We call the rest of the universe the surroundings. When H2O freezes, energy is released to the surroundings, which increases their entropy. When you add together the negative entropy change in the system and the positive entropy change in the surroundings, the total entropy change is positive, and so the second law of thermodynamics is obeyed. This idea is summed up in equation 14.13. Delta S total for a reaction equals delta S system plus delta S surroundings. Now it's easy enough to work out the entropy change in the system by looking up standard entropy values in a data book. But what about the surroundings? They are far too complex to define and look up. Fortunately, there's a simple equation that we can use to calculate delta S surroundings, and it's equation 14.14. And so you can see we have a link between equation 14.13 and equation 14.14, which gives a simple way to calculate delta S surroundings. And it's equal to minus the enthalpy change of reaction, delta HR, divided by the temperature at which the reaction takes place. Notice that the enthalpy change refers to the system. It's the enthalpy change of the reaction. So we now have a way to find the total entropy change using quantities that refer to the system only, the entropy and enthalpy changes of reaction. This means that we can forget about the surroundings, which makes things a lot easier. These two equations can be combined together into a single expression for delta S total. And they can also be used to derive an important new function for the system called the Gibbs energy change, which is used to predict whether a reaction will be spontaneous. There's more about Gibbs energy in the next section.